Hey guys, it's me, a little surfetched, and I sound a little bit like out of breath. I was just running around earlier, but it's day. What's this? Day five of the far fetched run for Pokemon Red. Um, yeah, literally within 30 ish minutes from now, the new Pokemon Presents is going up. And I couldn't sleep, so I'm really tired. And I also just can't calm down because I'm so anticipated, so I thought, let's film an episode. Why does this feel a little fast? Everything's just moving fast, apparently. What? Fetch! What a surprise to see you here! So you're going to Pokemon League? You collected all the badges, too? That's cool! Then I'll whip you Fetch as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on! But yeah, basically, I couldn't calm down. My heart's been racing, I couldn't sleep. Last night, my heart's been racing all morning. So I thought, let's just, let's just calm down. Film a nice video. And then, during the making of this video, we'll watch the direct, not the direct, but the presents, and I'll cut. And then at the end of this video, we can see exactly what news that we're going to get. And see, so yeah, that's what we're going to do is I'm going to film this video. I'm going to calm down. And then I can actually go for slash. Once it's like moments away from the direct, I'm going to do a cut. Because right now it's 829. Which is legitimately 30-ish minutes away from the direct. So, I'm just going to do anything to pass the time and to calm down. You know, <sighs> like my heart's been racing and I just need to calm down and I'm going to lose that. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so, man, that was a critical hit. That was not even my fault. But basically, my whole plan was to either wake up right before the direct and watch it, which obviously I couldn't because I couldn't even get to sleep, or I probably would have fallen asleep waking up after and then like immediately just watch the direct instead of doing anything else. I said not get spoiled. Well, obviously option C happened, and we're here moments before the direct is supposed to happen, which I keep on calling a direct, it's presents. It's not really a direct. But they're kind of the same thing. It's Pokemon entirely direct. It's like a direct that's entirely just Pokemon. I did a little training on what's his, what's her name? Samantha? In between episodes, I did a little bit of training. Got up to around 44. And I plan to do a bit of training in between this one and the next episode tomorrow. To get her up to the same-ish level as everyone. As our other two far-fetched amigos. And yeah, we're about to finish this fight. Our first fight of this episode, that's gonna be crazy. But yeah, that's just my least favorite thing about like the night or something before one of these Pokemon presentation things is that I can't sleep because I'm anticipating what's gonna be shown off. Like, I'm sorry, I know everyone tells you to keep your hopes 
low, but, you know, I can't do that. That's just not possible for me for some reason. I did it. What? I was just careless. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Fetch, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. You're the one that lost, Blue. Why do you I need more practice? Whatever. Let's move on to the Pokemon League. We're obviously not going to get there in this episode. The last probably like 10 minutes will probably be a podcast. Just talking about everything that happened. Oh, that is the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that is the Cascade Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. That guy just said go right ahead. You like did the whole conversation. I don't know what that guy was doing. You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that is the Thunder Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Rainbow Badge. Oh, that is the Rainbow Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. He didn't... Doesn't even have the courtesy to look at me while I do that. I want to at least get to, Art to Moltres before we do the Direct. You can pass her only if you have the Soul Badge. Oh, that is the Soul Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Like, that's one thing I want to do, is to get to Moltres before we do the Direct. You can pass her only if you have the Marsh Badge. Oh, that is the Marsh Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. I have all the badges, guys. Am I here? <gasps> I'm here. You can pass here only if you have the Volcano Badge. Oh, that is the Volcano Badge. I need one more badge. Is it the Earth Badge? It's the Earth Badge, right? No, that's the wrong way. Let's not go that way. That lady leads to a dead end. Is that dead end too? Yeah, it's dead end. It's this narrow little path here. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh, that is the Earth Badge. Okay, then please go right ahead. Okay, goodbye. Ooh. Victory Road. Picked up some extra pills for this. And it's time to go. I Shoot, I already walked out. I wasn't prepared. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to manually press... Uh, strength. I like how, like... Every Pokemon in this series has just learned TM moves that they can usually learn. Except Horsey just knows strength. Like, Hor Horsey's just a buff Pokemon now. Okay, this is very slow. And an update on the time before the Presents starts. Any item here? No. We've got 24 minutes before it starts. That means 24 minutes before I want to get to Moltres. Because we're not going to complete this episode until the direct's over. But I at least want to get to Moltres. I don't remember exactly where uh, Moltres is, like what room he's in. You know, it's just been so long since I've played the disgrace that is Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Even though I didn't hate that game, it just wasn't the best Pokemon game, obviously. I never hated it. I never thought it was terrible. It's just a lot of people did. And that was like the meme at the time was the hate on that game. <gasps> no, it's a trainer. Last year, two years ago, on this day, Pokemon Day 2018, 2019. Not two years ago on this day, but you know, 
two years ago on Pokemon Day, they had a present or a direct showcasing stuff. I don't remember exactly what stuff was in that direct, but I remember specifically they showed off the new Galar region, so. They didn't show off anything really for the Pokemon Day last year. Last year, instead, they did this cool popularity vote with Pokemon. Which Pokemon was the coolest? And I think Greninja won? Yeah, Greninja won. Greninja was just the best. Apparently. This year they kind of are doing it again. In Japan. I mean, if you know the hashtags, you can tweet. But basically they're doing this thing where if you tweet your Pokemon, your favorite Pokemon's Japanese name with a hashtag or something, you can vote for that. And that's how they're doing a popularity contest this year in Japan. And so far, very weirdly, Dedene is winning. Like, I don't know why Dedene specifically is winning. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. Pikachu's not even top 10. Not even top 5. He's top 10, obviously. He's uh, number 9. 7. But, like, he's not even top 5. Or top 3. Which is unexpected, because you'd think Pikachu being the mascot, he'd be a popular choice. In Japan. And I think, randomly, I don't know exactly why, but for the longest time, Buzzswool was number one. If you don't know who Buzzswool is, he's from the seventh generation. He's one of the Ultra Beasts that I have no clue. I really have no clue why he was number one for the longest time. Because, like, at the start of the event, he was literally number one, and I was like, why? Not that he's a bad Pokemon. But, like, specifically why Buzzswool was a question to me that I didn't know. The answer to. And he got overtaken. I don't even think he's in the top five anymore, but. I don't want to check because if I scroll through Twitter, like, I'm worried of getting leaked on stuff. So I'm, like, not even checking Twitter. Like, the only way I've found the link to this site is through Twitter. Well, I guess, if I'm careful... I'll try to be careful, and I'll just go through Cerebi. So I think they have the link posted for- No, it's not Cerebi, it's the person who runs Cerebi. Okay. We have an episode filming. What what am I doing? No. No. Um Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Let's check the standings. Um, Dedene is still winning with literally 68,000 votes. And Buzzswole is now number 8 under Pikachu with 33,000 vo votes. Volts. That's not right. Greninja, who like won the popularity contest last year, is only at 16th. The also what's really cool is split it between region. 
Like, not only do they have a popular vote overall, but they have a popular vote in the region. And what I think is cool is that Pikachu is not even winning Kanto. It's Magnemite. Why? Why do you keep poisoning me and stuff? I think it's funny that Pikachu is not even winning Kanto. It's freaking Magnemite by 2,000 votes. Ooh, level 62! Umbreon. Kind of weird. Umbreon is winning Johto. Sableye is winning Hoenn. Piplup is winning Sinnoh. I mean, if that's just not people really wanting Sinnoh remakes, I mean, I don't know what it is. Minchino, no, yeah, is it Minchino? Which one's the evolve form? Is it Chinchino? Chinchino is winning Unova. Obviously, if it wasn't obvious, the Dene is winning get can't to hmm the Dene is winning uh to Kalos. That's a region that exists. Buzzwool is winning Alola. Just over Mimikyu. And, uh, Inteleon is winning Galar. 40 CX. I'm gonna use the rare candy on her. While we're here, I'll just use this. I'll use the rare candy while we're here. Gotta hurry, we only have 15 minutes until the presents. This is really calming me down, though. Like, I'm, like, calm now. Um. Rare candy. <gasps> Suddenly, level 47. Let me just heal the poison that Tangela just kept giving me. Tangela just kept giving me every single status effect. <gasps> There's more choice. I see him. I'm coming for you next, Moltres, don't worry. I think if I go here, actually... Oh. Our pill's gone. I think it told me that earlier, and I just didn't listen. Ow. How do you expect me to train up in between episodes when your highest level here is like 22 so far that I've seen? <coughs> Sorry. I'm sorry for sneezing. Uh, so I think if we go this way... I don't think if we go this way we'll find Moltres. But if we... No, that's not the way. I'll get that item, though. Actually, I don't know why. I just skipped this item. It's TMO6. That's Hyper Beam, I think. It should be Toxic. But I think it's Hyper Beam. If we go this way, we should be at Moltres. It's like in here, I think. You're not Moltres, but you are... Oh, Moltres. Who are you? It's Cloyster. Not even close. But at least we found out who Moltres was. And now, we can get out of here and prepare for the end of this episode. Are you kidding me? Why? You know, screw it. I don't need this. <laughs> okay, I broke out. I need this. Okay, I don't need this. I'm leaving. Goodbye, Moltres. I'll miss you. Okay, so what do I do here now? I think this is... We have to go all the way over to this boulder or whatever. Yeah, this one. Go over here and be like, Hey! 
Let me push you with horsey. Is that item blocked off by a trainer? Yeah, that item is blocked off by a trainer. Let's not do that. Let's not waste our time doing that right now. We got progress to make. I like how you just, we're just slowly pushing this boulder away without barely any commentary because I'm tired, so tired. Couldn't sleep. And let me tell you that for the third time. No, 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 don't push that down. Oh, I guess it didn't matter if I pushed it down. I could have pushed it right back up. No, seriously, right at the end of the rock. I plan on probably getting any encounters next time just because there's no way I'm going to be wanting to do anything while watching the direct. Like, I'm probably not going to do anything while watching it, just full on watching it. It'll probably be like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes after the direct before I even record again. I'll be that, like, too hyped. Let's fight this trainer, because we're almost out of here. We're almost out of here. We can start fighting trainers. I think we're almost out of here. Maybe. Plus, I need to do something. We'll fight this trainer, and then we're going to go search for some items while we're waiting. You know? That'd be cool. Don't you somehow poison me. Thanks, man. You're the best. This week has been a crazy one. So much... No news for Pokemon yet. Oh, we kind of got, like, two things. We got the Post Malone song. The Post Malone cover of song. And we got the Pokemon Masters sync pairs, you know, all that stuff. That's like the only two Pokemon stuff that we've gotten this week so far. We're about to get at least, Sarah B says, 20 minutes of information today. And I trust Sarah B. For my news, my Pokemon information, my Pokemon news. What I'm hyped for is what I want. Maybe something to do with Johto. I obviously my want since Rescue Team DX came out is Explorers DX, which is not going to happen. I'm not even. It's not going to happen until at least maybe a year or two from now. There's no way it's happening so close to. Rescue Team DX. But I, I'd be, like, surprised if it did, honestly. Like, I'd literally be surprised because there's no way a year after they announced Rescue Team, D, Rescue Team DX that they're just like, oh, let's just release its... Let's just announce its... Uh, the sequel's remake... Not really a sequel. I meant... Well, people always call it Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. It's not really a sequel, it's kind of just, you know, like the main series. Like, the only Pokemon spin-offs I can think have, like, multiple games are, like, Pokemon Stadium... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, obviously, Pokemon... Ranger. Those are like the only three that aren't the main series that I can remember having like multiple entries. Well, I guess technically now Pokemon Snap has multiple entries, but that's that's for a different day. I mean, I already know that we're probably getting at least one or two minutes of both Pokemon New Snap. New Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Unite. 
I'm like showing off some new footage like I already know that's gonna happen like that's definitely what's gonna happen since those are technically probably games that are coming out this year I know at least Pokemon Snap is coming out this year it's like two months from now I think April 30th maybe Ooh, I can use a floor store April 30th, I think, is when it comes out, so... I had it saved in my notes here. That didn't heal my confusion. I have it saved in my notes here. The link that brings me directly to the direct. This was a fail-safe plan in case I didn't wake up in time to watch the direct. Obviously, I knew the first thing I was going to see when I went on YouTube was stuff about the Direct. So I was like, let's do a fail-safe plan of just having the link to the Direct right in a place where I obviously can't get spoiled my own notes. And obviously, usually, like, I check YouTube the first morning, so thankfully, uh... My wonderful friend Austin, I told him, because he wakes up to go to his job, I think he woke up at like 7 to do his job or whatever, but he wakes up to do his job, I asked him kindly, I was like, hey, when you decide, when you wake up for your work, could you leave a message in the group chat, because I have group chat notifications on, I was like, can you leave a message saying, don't check YouTube? Because my impulse in the morning is to either A, check Twitter, like, first thing, or B, check YouTube. And obviously, checking YouTube would immediately spoil me about the new information. And so he did that, and so I gotta give him a round of applause he could have saved me from being spoiled, but I already woke up and I couldn't have gone to sleep. I went to sleep for like maybe an hour or two, so. There's my alarm. Oh, I hate that noise. I don't know why that's my alarm. That is like, because there was a meme going around last year. People make memes out of everything, but one of the memes of last year was iPhone Alarm was just a meme for some reason that was playing, and I hated it. So I, I hated that meme. So I've now just like had the iPhone default alarm sound just tainted for me. Yeah, that was my alarm to try and hopefully wake up five minutes before the direct, which obviously means it's five minutes until the direct. We'll probably get this last battle in. I'll maybe be able to fight the other trainer, depending on how many Pokemon he has. We'll obviously encounter him. And if he hasn't... And if... He has, like, maybe one Pokemon will fight him. And if he has, like, two Pokemon, we'll probably try to fight him as well as I can. Because there is... It's a presentation. It's a premiere. There's going to be two minutes after it starts. Of just a countdown timer till the video. So technically, we have like five minutes still. Okay, you've got three Pokemon, man. Why'd you do this to me, man? We'll try to get through this as fast as we can. Because it's like literally three minutes until the direct begins. Sweet. Oh no. Oh no. 
I'm gonna have to get through this. Hopefully rock throw, because he's probably gonna use ro oh gosh. Oh no. You know what? Let's just let's just go. Onyx, you are wasting my time. I swear, Onyx. I have something to watch in two minutes. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go. We're cutting it close for time. No, 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 no. Okay. No, come on! Okay, that's it, that's it. Um, we finished this trainer. We did it. We finished this trainer. And, yeah. When I get... when We're gonna do a cut here. When I come back, we will have a bunch of news to talk about. I will see you in probably around like 30 minutes, even though it's gonna be like two seconds. Oh my god. I cannot believe they actually did it. It's... I'm shaking. It's been roughly 40 minutes since I last recorded this. They actually did it. They actually did it. So let me just go over a brief description of what this direct was. Uh, it got me so excited, I forgot to heal, apparently. Um, I'm, like, freaking out. I'm shaking. I'm, like, it's wild. But, yeah, basically, so the drag starts off this neat little introduction video. Let me just get my rappel up. And let me re heal my Pokemon. It starts this neat little introduction video basically recapping the Pokemon series up to this point. Everything from its first iteration to basically now with basically talking about the anime, the trading card game, the other stuff that makes Pokemon Pokemon. Basically, they didn't leave a single thing out in this description. They didn't... Okay, I think I already pushed the bull down. They didn't leave a single thing out, really, in this talk. I even saw a Mystery Dungeon in there. It was adorable. They seriously did not leave a single thing out of this. And then, of course, like I expected, the first thing they did was show off Pokemon Snap and basically showed off all the new features that are coming with that game. Is that the different? Is that a different way? I think it's this way. They showed off Pokemon Snap. You know the new Snap game that's coming out in two months. Obviously, that was cool to see that. Surprisingly, which I am like surprised at this point, they did not show any Pokemon Unite stuff. Instead, what we got was what everyone has been waiting for since. Hoenn remakes, they showed off the new Diamond and Pearl remakes. These are actual things. They're called, what? Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? And what's weird is that they're actually in a different art style. Um, turn right, I'm here. No. They're actually in a weird different art style. It kind of, like, this first second I saw them, they reminded me of Animal Crossing. Kind of, like the art style. The trailer's probably up on the Pokemon channel by now. And it was it was really adorable. I am excited, kinda. I mean, obviously, I'm, like, worried, but, you know. That's just how things are. And then they showed off. Oh my gosh, they showed off 
Sino prequels. Sorry, just had to make a quick cut, quick cut there. But yeah, back to my description. They showed off Sino prequels. And uh, it looks like it said Pokemon is entering a new era. And it looked like they showed off. It looked like Breath of the Wild, but Pokemon. You know, the Zelda game Breath of the Wild. It seems like Pokemon is emulating two big Nintendo games, both Animal Crossing and Breath of the Wild with their Diamond and Pearl remakes. Um, but yeah. Um, this was this cool open world looking game that basically seen, uh, what the Pokemon Twitter says is like a pre-make or whatever they call it but that kind of confirms that it's a prequel and it basically takes place before I think Diamond and Pearl and um yeah you start off it's a weird starter choice um we're in a new environment isn't that cool so basically what they showed off was this game called Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it, like I said, it looked like Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Pretty, pretty crazy. And yeah, it's set to come out in 2022, and Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming out in 2021, obviously later this year. And yeah, both games look beautiful. Um, obviously I'm not the biggest fan of Sinnoh. I don't really care for Sinnoh that much. It's cool. Diamond and Pearl is one of my top five favorite games. Well, Platinum is one of my top five favorite Pokemon games. But I, I'm i not the biggest fan of Sinnoh. But I really do like the look of these games. Like I said, it looked like they're mimicking Animal Crossing for the remakes. And then Breath of the Wild for their prequel. So it looks like we're just going from Breath of the It literally is going from Breath of the Wild to Animal Crossing, because Breath of the Wild released first, and then Animal Crossing released second. It's pretty cool. I, I don't know. It's it's pretty weird. I'm tired, okay? I haven't slept. But yeah, I, I'm like... I didn't think they'd actually do it. I already saw people hating on the new art style, which, you know, it's fine. It's a different direction. But I'm just excited to finally get to play Diamond and Pearl. We finally get to transfer up Sinnoh Pokemon. that, Because, like, Sword and Shield did not have a lot of Sinnoh Pokemon, which... Obviously, that was hinting that they were bringing Sinnoh back. But, you know... I'm just excited. Very excited. I can't wait for Sinnoh remakes. You know what? That's basically it. Um, that's it for this video. Everything was shown off, and I'm excited for, I'm excited for everything, um, I gotta get this video up, I gotta get some sleep, cause I'm tired, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, with the finale of this series, yeah, probably sometime after the virtual concert, cause I probably wanna watch that, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.